all I need. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm a fanatic when it comes to taking and showing off my pictures. In fact, I take pictures everywhere I go, which is what makes this, my Motorola ZN5, the perfect device for me. It lets me carry a camera and a phone with me all the time. There are three things I enjoy about the ZN5. First, it's the first Motorola mobile phone with a five megapixel camera. And it uses Kodak imaging technology, so the phone takes brilliantly sharp pictures that capture every detail in vivid color. Secondly, this is the best part. I can share my pictures quickly with family and friends. With a few settings, I can share pictures on the web with a press of a button. And lastly, all of that wouldn't be possible without this easy form factor. It's a phone. And then I slide the lens cover open and point and shoot a picture instantly, just like a camera. The ZN5 goes beyond being just another phone with a camera. It's designed to take great pictures and share them with others. That's why I had to have it. Getting the maximum out of my ZN5 is exciting, and these videos will teach you to get the most out of your ZN5. I'll teach you how to take a picture, use the camera settings, and best of all, share your pictures with everyone you know. Using the camera. In this module, we're gonna learn how to take pictures, adjust camera settings, edit pictures, and of course, delete the ones we don't like. This phone's more than easy to use. Want to take a picture? All you need to do is just slide the lens cover open and voila, you're in camera mode. No menus, no buttons to press, and look, no extra keys are highlighted. I can instantly start taking pictures. Just hold the phone like a camera, point, and snap a picture with the camera key. The ZN5 has one of the fastest click-to-capture times available. Autofocus locks in in less than one second. See the camera guides turn green? That means you're focused and ready to go. Not only is it easy to take the pictures, it's also easy to delete unwanted pictures, view pictures stored on your phone, and share the pictures via Simple Share. Don't worry, I'll show you how to share photos in the next section. Now setting flash options is easy too. Just use the navigation right key pressing it left and right to choose the best flash options. You can set it to stay on, turn off, automatic, or help get rid of red eye in the photos. Need to set lighting to low light or white balance? It's just as easy. Use the navigation key and press it up and down to find the options. You can also set an auto timer to set up a shot and get yourself into the picture. Or use multi-shot to take some action pictures. Perfect for capturing moment-by-moment -moment shots of friends and family in a four-picture sequence. Once the picture is captured, it's automatically stored to the memory card or phone. Want to see your pictures? Press the preview key. No menus, no searching, and you don't even need to know the file name. It's all shown visually along the bottom of your screen. Now let's talk about editing options. You can use Kodak Perfect Touch setting for an easy fix or use advanced editing features. From a picture, press Options and select Edit. Now the fun begins. Press Options again and all of the editing options appear. You can rotate, crop, make a mirror image of the picture, resize, change the style to grayscale, sepia, negative, reddish, greenish, bluish, change brightness and contrast, sharpen, blur the image, add borders, or graphical elements. For this example, we'll change the picture coloring to sepia. When you're done editing, save the file and that's it. Instantly, you have photo editing at your fingertips. Here's one of my favorite parts. You can take panoramic pictures. It's as easy as taking a normal picture. Just point to the amazing view you want to capture. Press Options and select Panorama. You'll see three boxes appear on the top of your screen. 
These are the three shots you'll need to take. Start at the left side of the picture. Press the camera key to take the first picture. Now, just slowly start moving it along the scene. Automatically, the second picture is taken, and the third, without you lifting a finger. The phone instantly stitches the pictures together to give you a brilliant scenic shot of the riverside. It's really easy, and you get amazing pictures. Who can beat that? Simple sharing. In this module, we're going to learn how to share pictures online using Kodak Gallery to compatible Bluetooth-enabled picture frames and a slideshow on your television. Many people take photos on their mobile phone and they stay there. I share mine instantly. With Bluetooth wireless technology and Wi-Fi, I can share my photos with a compatible Bluetooth-enabled printer and a Wi-Fi picture frame. And I can upload to the Kodak Gallery right from my phone. Let me take you through a scenario of how this works. I'm in the park, taking pictures on my ZN5. I already have a Kodak Gallery account set up, so when I head to the coffee shop down the street, I upload them via Wi-Fi or use my cellular network to the Kodak Gallery. When I get home, my pictures are already on the Kodak Gallery website. I've already connected my gallery page to a Wi-Fi digital frame, so I just select the pictures via the Kodak Gallery interface online and drag them to my frame. But, say I want to print out a picture to frame or bring to the office with me. It's easy with my compatible Bluetooth-enabled printer. Just access the picture album on the phone, choose a picture, press Options, and select Print via Bluetooth. Choose the printer from the menu and select Options and Print. Before you know it, I have the perfect picture for my office or my own family scrapbook. Or maybe my parents are in town and I want to share the fun we had at the zoo over the weekend. I can easily show off my pictures with a private slideshow viewing through our television. First, on your phone, press Main Menu, Settings, and then Connections. In the Connections menu, select TV Out and then On. Then use the 3.5mm jack and the Motorola TV out cable that was in your box. The 3.5mm end connects to your phone, the other to your television. And look, a picture slideshow. Instantly, your photos are prime entertainment. Want to learn more? You can browse the web, set up speed dials, change your wallpaper to a favorite image, and so much more. Check out the user guide online, use one of the links below or the in-device help. It's right on your phone in the main menu.